Did you know that Coco Chanel was a Nazi spy? Welcome to fashion history. Despite her humble origins, Chanel had many affairs with wealthy men and leveraged these relationships into creating her own clothing store. During World War I, her signature menswear-inspired style became popular and it catapulted her to fame. She soon found herself linked to people like Winston Churchill. It was at this time that she introduced Chanel number 5. Chanel felt she was not equipped to deal with the business end of the fragrance industry and ended up selling 90% of her company to Pierre Wertheimer. Immediately regretting this decision, Chanel saw the Nazi occupation of France as an opportunity for her to get her business back from the Wertheimers, who were Jewish. However, Pierre had transferred the business to a non-Jewish relative and fled to the U.S. Chanel began to believe the only way she would get her perfume business back is if Hitler won. She went undercover as a Nazi spy in Operation Modelhood, trying to convince her old friend Winston Churchill to surrender. Obviously unsuccessful, it is believed that Chanel's role in the war was concealed by Churchill because he knew she had information on King Edward's involvement with Hitler. Despite all of this, years later, Pierre approached Chanel to design once again, bought out the entire company, which is still owned by the Wertheimers, for an estimated $9 billion, which is why you never hear about any 